Hi guys, uh, this first part was supposed to be super cute little dance off and then I forgot about copyright so It's time to begin I won't be able to put the actual music I was dancing to because copyrights, ew. But okay, so I'm actually a little nervous right now because I want to put my hair in a type of bun, right? Right, hear me out, right? But I know once I put that bun in, it's gonna be really hard to put this hoodie that I'm gonna wear later on, but I can't put the hoodie that I wanna wear later on because it's really expensive. And if I get makeup on it, I'm going to air out my room and anyone standing outside of it. So, uh, we're in a little bit of a predicament. We might just have to touch her up after, but you know, hopefully it doesn't completely mess it up. Anyways, let's get started. Um, I just brushed my teeth. I just got out the shower. I did not wash my hair because I washed my hair three days ago and it doesn't need a wash yet. Wash day is definitely tomorrow. But since we're not doing too much, we're just pulling it up. Shouldn't be too bad. Are you guys ready? I'm kind of ready. Okay, first of all, I just want to do a real quick reminder. I be doing these get ready with me's and at first I be thinking like, damn, I look crusty. I need to remind me so I can remind you so I can remind us. We look good before and fucking after. Oop, that was a bad word. We look good before and after. Always. It look a little, like this is like cozy cute. This is like cozy cute, yeah? And then what we do after is just a little more spicy, a little more, you know? Okay. Um. Let's get into parting. So I'm going to part my hair in a little line here and we're going to ignore the rest, but that's what we're gonna do first. Okay, now we're doing the YouTube tutorial. Um, if you watched my other video, then I said I was gonna start doing my hair and then I was like, uh, actually I'm gonna make a YouTube video doing my hair because the other one is more focused on other things. But let's uh, repeat everything I just said. Actually, I'm not gonna repeat everything I just said. I'm just gonna add it in. So basically we're going for the crown vibe right now. Definitely a crown vibe. do like two braids here but I'm going more for like the little rubber bandsies look because I think they're so cute I think they're super cute I don't know why they just they do it for me every time so we're gonna wet her up a little bit and we're definitely gonna comb through this definitely need to comb through this this honestly shouldn't take more than like I'd say 15 minutes to do but I'm gonna show you guys how I do the first few and then keep it moving. take a little bit of our eco styler and we're going to we're eventually going to fix that part in the middle i guess we could fix it now how do i want to do it do i want to do like directly in the middle or do i want it kind of 
kind of off. I think I want it kind of off. Yeah, so we're gonna do it like this actually. And we're gonna make a square in the middle of my head. You really want to make sure that they're like straight to the back of your head because you're going to get mad at yourself if they look like off in the middle. And then look at that, a perfect square, smack dabs. My edges are looking a little crazy, but it's okay. We're going to be doing protective styles all winter so they will get a break later. Okay, now we separate the edges. Well, of course we comb it up and then we decide how much of it we want it to be edges. Um, I think that's a good amount. Yeah. And then we brush them down so they don't get in the way. During. Okay, perfect. And now we grab a little hair tie. I use the super stretch. I just got these from Sally's. They're from Proclaim. And I sit them in oil and water so they are a little bit more elastic y and a lot more flexible. So, yeah, now we just take it. And you really want to try to make sure you keep that band in the middle because if you're a little extra like me and the band looks like it's not in the middle, it's going to drive you crazy. And then you're going to get frustrated. And then you do a little tug. And bam! That's one part done. You just repeat those steps for each one and you keep it moving. All right, I'm gonna show you the rest. Uh, actually, let me do one more for you and then I'll just do the rest on my own. There we go. Now we comb it on all sides. Take a little bit of the edges out so we get the crisp look we're looking for. Definitely comb those edges down. I hate when I'm trying to tie it up and the edges decide they want to be a part of the party. Like, no, you are not invited. Okay. And then we put a little gel around the side so it's easy to put down. And now hair tie. So basically you're just gonna create these squares all alongside on both sides and then I'm gonna show you where to go from 
Are you guys proud of me for posting another YouTube video? I know, I'm proud of me because I am a slacker and I'd be having to prove myself wrong sometimes. But that's okay, that's what life's about. All right, there we Okay, so this is what we've come to with these. Each got a little section. I left the little pieces out for edges all around. I'm also gonna take um, a wipe and like, like not acetone, Jesus, what am I trying to say? Like a astringent, like a face astringent, and I'm going to just like clean it. I'll show you the product once I use it, but I'm gonna clean the edges product off of me before I actually do my edges. But yeah, now we need to not completely detangle my hair, but kind of just detangle it at the roots because we want a big puffy bun, but we want it to be tight at the end. So let's get into it. I'm going to sh do my edges after I put it all together because I need to uh, do my makeup and I want to do kind of crazy edges and sometimes doing crazy edges and having your makeup on underneath it just messes up your makeup and then trying to do your makeup around the edges just messes up your edges so. I've found that the best solution is to do your edges after and just not wear a heavy amount of uh, foundation. I usually don't though, so it's not usually an issue. Not usually a problem. I'm gonna get these out of our face for a second. Um, you don't have to completely wet the rest of your hair, just like the roots of it, just so you can get a hand on them and get them over. I keep these little pieces out. They love to run away. Okay, so now that we've kind of wet the roots a little bit, I'm not putting a whole bunch of product in my hair because um, my hair already has product in it and the water will activate it once I'm doing it. And I'm also noticed I'm only spraying around the, the like the roots of my hair because I want the bun to be kind of fluffy. And if you spray all through, then the bun's not gonna be fluffy. Um, you're interrupting my video, shut the heck up. I hope it doesn't last long, that would suck. I might have to cut the, the sound out. Okay, so I ended up cutting the sound out because the car alarm was going off for a minute, but basically, like I said, we're, we want the bun to be super puffy, so we're only gonna kind of detangle at the root so we can get the hair to lay down pretty tight to the head, but other than that, that's all we need to comb and detangle. We, the rest will just play out in the end, so just get down in there. Uh, that car alarm was real annoying. I don't even understand how you let your car alarm go off for that long, but... <laughs> that was me getting frustrated with it but yeah and then my arms get tired that's a curly girl problem we all understand that though okay the car alarm stopped but see we just got it smooth around the ends now we're gonna take our eco styler if you want the style to hang on a while you can use gorilla snot but I only use gorilla snot when I like really want a style to hang for a while Otherwise, if it's just a chilling vibe and I'm not going nowhere, I don't need no go for the snap. Okay, now we rub the Eco Styler all through. And now we take a smoothing brush. Smooth it all around. Smoothy smooth. Seeing the smoothies, my smoothie tastes amazing. I brought it upstairs. It's wonderful. Simply splendorific. All right, and oh crap, do I have hair ties? It would suck if I started all of this and I don't have hair ties. Cause I'd need two hair ties to make this work. To make it really, okay, thank you, yeah, Jesus, I have two hair ties. Now, if you notice your bun is too like big in the back, it's okay because we're gonna be able to mask that with our bobby pins, but you kind of want it like pretty much on top like on top right there. And then you could play with it later by where you place your hair. So I honestly don't care too much on how crazy it looks because once it's all sitting at the top like this, like 
Obviously, if you leave it like that, it looks lopsided, it looks kind of crazy, but what's important is it looks smooth right here. Cause now, this is what? Uh, um, now all we have to do is put some bobby pans in where we want them. I'm going to, um, oh, I forgot the most important part. My silly dilly behind forgot to put these in. Let's try this again. We're going to, I guess we'll just keep it up there because we had to comb it all up there anyways. But now we're going to take the brush through because we want these to kind of be able to lay flat and kind of hide behind everything. I mean, hide into, blend into the hair that we're smoothing back. All right, we're going to try this one more time. If a hair tie breaks on me, I will cry and you guys will laugh and we will laugh about it later, but I will cry for now. All right, try this one more time. Isn't this crazy? Oh my God, is my closet dirty? I hope not. I think it's just two socks in there. Yeah, okay. Now we take these pieces. Sorry, I gotta show you guys. Take them up. See, it's just like a little cute way to spice up your buns. I love it. And now we're brushing them into the hair so they blend in. I'm not brushing the actual squares. I'm only brushing the parts where the squares go in. I mean, where the strands go in. Okay. Now you have to grip the front. This is actually the difficult part. Gripping the front. And actually, yeah. Yeah. Gripping the front, and now it's just putting the hair tie around. Um, if you're tender headed, you definitely will only want to wear this hairstyle for a couple hours because it is tight on your noggin and on your scalp. I'm used to this, so I could usually wear these styles for at least a day, but I still hate to. Oh my gosh! Uh, that looks bonkers. All right, let's. Hydrate our hair a little bit, put a little water in it, give it a little scrunch. Not a lot of water, remember we want big bun. Well, I guess if you don't want a big bun, you don't have to have a big bun, but I love my buns big. I like volume, I like froze, I like big. I want to walk in the room and people be like, oh my God, how her bun get through the doorway, you know? So we're just gonna separate a little bit of the curls. Cause they're looking a little sticky. And now we're gonna go in with our bobby pin placement. This looks kinda crazy. Okay, now I want the super moisturized curl in the front. All right, and I really just like go wherever with these curls, I mean with these bobby pins. I just, my goal at the end of it is to create a kind of circle. And I always go a little low in the back because I wanted to hide a big bump in the back where my hair could not like flatten out. And look, it'll just come together. Hold on, I need to look in the mirror to kind of see this properly. Kind of see where my, my hair is at. Okay, still looking kind of crazy. I used the big bobby pins, and now we're gonna use the little ones, and we're just going to do little delicate placements. Not delicate, I don't know if that's the right word. Smaller placements, like for the little flares that are out. Cause I like that they're out, but I want them to be out and up, not out to the side. You know what I mean? It may sound weird, but sometimes you just have to randomly place them in your bun. Like, just take the little pieces that you want and randomly put them somewhere in your bun. Like this, you got to just shove it in there. Just cause it'll bring that one side down. Ooh, what are you doing? You're just living your life? You need to follow a protocol. Let me get out of there. Oh my gosh! 
see. Okay, it's looking a little dry, so you can take a leave-in conditioner or like a little bit of water. I just spray it on the front a little bit and then I dab it. If you have like a shine, a, a shiny oil spray, you could use that too. I could do that, but. See, all done. It looks like a little crown. Um, excuse me, what are you doing? Didn't we just tell everybody to get in line? And I just sit in the mirror and I do this until everything is where I want it to be. I'm very, I'm tedious about my hair. I need it to be on point at all times. Oh my God, okay, wait, let me do my makeup and then we can show the final look. Uh, I did it. I done. I like it. I like her a lot. Okay, let's do the edges. So what I used to, so you know the, um toners i literally just used a toner to like clean up my forehead because when i was trying to keep my edges out of the way while doing this i swiped the gel all over my forehead so i used this toner from kiehl's dermatologist solutions daily refining milk kill toner with lipohydrolic hydroxy x lipohydroxy acid and 23 percent emollients and almond milk i know how to read I'm obviously literate. Uh, you guys like my makeup? I think it's adorable. I think it's freaking adorable. Um, okay, yeah, so let's do right this. Edgitos! Como se va a dar hama? Um, I don't think I'll use Gorilla Smile on my edges today. We're just going to go with the regular, regular Eco Styler. And keep her moving. Um, how do I want to go with them today? I don't know. I did not use a lot of foundation, so I shouldn't have a bunch of creasing problems. I mean, a bunch of um, any problems actually. We're just gonna play there. Okay, I like that. We need that one. Then let's, I guess, bring this down. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, that's cute, we can work with that. And then let's do a full swoop here. You gotta see what the hair is willing to do because we work as a team here. They don't like to follow my instructions, so it became a democracy. Whatever they're willing to pull off the day. Okay. Wait, no, I like that. Let's actually bring this down a little bit. Maybe we can get the curl up a little more. Okay, that side's cute. Let's do the other side. Ugh, this side's always so much heavier on the edges. It's so annoying. Like, one side of my hair is always has more edges than the other one, and I hate it. Because we gotta swoop her in. Because there's so much. Why? Okay. And now we need to just curl this up. So let's take it here, then take it there, then. Yes, that'll work perfectly. And then just wet her up with the gel. Oh, I need to get that on my fingertips. Yeah, you literally, when it comes to doing your edges, you just have to play with it until it gives you a result that you like because you cannot tell your hair what to do. It'll, you know, kind of listen to you, but it'll never completely listen to you. So you just gotta kind of roll with her. And keep it in mm -hmm. Blah, blah. Sorry about that. Little 
interruption. Beauty file. I just wipe them down a little bit. Get them to stick to my face. Stormy. Stormy, baby. <laughs> I do not know why I was making that voice just now. But that's just what they were like me of. Okay, this one's not curling as cute as the other one was, but we're just gonna have to live with her today. Because she's just not in the mood to curl pretty, I guess. Let me try some water on it really quick. Mm, take, I didn't, I think it's because I didn't take out as much sideburns on this side as I did the other one. And it'll curl up eventually in some form. Okay, well this is the final look. I hope you guys love her. She's very cutesy to me. Oh my gosh, yay, yay, hair tutorial. See, I told you guys I was gonna keep doing it. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. I did another YouTube video and it hasn't even been two months. I think we're all proud of me here. I think I did a great job. Um, but yeah, so this is what we did. We love her. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what else you like. Tell me what else you wanna see. Um, Okay, I'm gonna go finish my other video now that you guys are probably gonna watch after this, so. Oh my god, I love it! It's gonna suck! Trying to put a hoodie on over this. I I might not even go out anymore because if it's gonna mess this up, I'm gonna be really upset. All right, I love you guys. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Josephica. Follow me on TikTok, Tatiana just 39 Follow me on here if you want to scrub, scrub these, scrub Um, let me know what else you want to see. And you have a great day. Sexy, a splendorific day, a fantastical day. Uh, I'm doing myself. This is cute. Stiff wear. We don't worry about it though. Okay, please bye. Mm -hmm. I, um